Another one bites the dust. Corrupt accused Zizi Gorda resigns. Tabo Besta says he would rather be sentenced to death. And TikTok faces a cyber attack. Hello there, I'm Sfiso Zulu. This is Eyewitness News. Zizi Gorda is no longer a minister following his resignation from the Sports, Us and Culture Department. News of his resignation came just hours after he appeared in court for corrupt related charges. He has been granted 30,000 rand bail. He's accused of accepting bribes from the former boss of EOH, Jihan McKay, which is South Africa's largest tech company, but Godwa has denied any wrongdoing. So on that strength, I will say that the applicants managed to prove on a balance of probabilities that they are candidates for bail and bail is granted by this court. Now, the court will make sure that the bail is of the same amount and it's granted in respect of applicant number one and number two and fixed in an amount as prayed for by applicant number one in the amount of 30,000 as well as in respect of, accused of applicant number two, it's fixed in an amount of 30,000. All I can say is that we've noted that uh, the step aside policy of the ANC will kick in or shall I say the constitution of the ANC will kick in um, because we all we, we respect the rule of law. Convicted killer and rapist Tabo Besta has cried foul that he will never get a free trial because he keeps losing lawyers. He was in the Bloemfontein High Court alongside his co-accused Nandi Pamagudumana and others in relation to his brazen escape from a maximum security prison in 2022. I am not the worst inmate in this country. I don't have the highest counts. I have three counts. But I am the most popular inmate in this country for no reason, because of the political punish and because of the political issues that I have in my personal capacity that have nothing to do with this legal proceedings. And I feel that I am out to address that. Even in the legal fraternity, Your Honor, it's very difficult for me to appoint an attorney. Attorney would cancel brief on the base that say, I don't want to be associated with Tabo Besta because the media will attack me. I've had five counsels who told me that, that I would love to be in your case, but I'll be in the background because I cannot be seen in front because you're Tabo Besta. The media will destroy me and the, the state will never give me any work. Is that anyhow how I should be treated when I am standing in trial, Your Honor? Is that equal to any other person that is standing in trial? Besta says he has not been able to consult with his legal representatives, alleging that it is due to political interference. The sun might be shining again in some parts of KwaZulu Natal and the Eastern Cape, but residents affected by recent storms are still picking up the pieces. Many lives have been lost in both the Eastern Cape and KZN due to the extreme conditions. National government is forging a plan to help the victims. We will have to look for a place where they can put their belongings and then move um, to other areas while we then are uh, seeking uh, some other uh, alternative accommodation. Um, unfortunately, um, we are not able to say. Um, the MEC has organized that we're going to be bringing more teams um, to do the profiling so that it's quick um, because the, the area is quite vast. And the teams that we have at the moment, um, there are about 30 teams that we have, but we see that they are not enough um, to cover the amount of people that are affected. So if we can bring more teams uh, by today, then at least we'll be able to reach as many people as we can and the work will move faster as well to know how much accommodation we still need. 25 people have been stopped from coming into South Africa illegally. The group were caught by law enforcement officers at Oartambo International Airport. They've contravened the Immigration Act of South Africa and have been deported by immigration officials. These travelers were intercepted on flights from Bangladesh, Pakistan, Ghana and Nigeria, and they were deported back in accordance with the International Civil Aviation Organization regulations. And video sharing app TikTok says it is dealing with a cyber attack that targeted several brands and celebrities. TikTok, which is owned by Chinese company ByteDance, says a very limited number of accounts have been compromised. It has not shared any further details on the perpetrators of the cyber attack or how it was carried out. One of the compromised accounts belonged to news outlet CNN. 
TikTok says the account of reality TV star Paris Hilton was also targeted, but it was not compromised. Thank you for watching. Please download the EWN app and the Prime Media Plus app. Eyewitness News in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.